I created this plugin that creates a file from ChatGPT's code that you can save into your project. The plugin can be found in both Chrome and Firefox Web Store. Now let's get started. If you haven't already checked out my previous video where I show you how I generated this code, please take a look at it before continuing. So I'm just going to start off here by making a quick change to the code. I notice sometimes when ChatGPT provides code for JavaScript, it sometimes spells the whole word JavaScript and sometimes it just says JS. So I'm just going to add that entry into the code. Okay, so now let's copy this code into ChatGPT. Now let's write, I would like to turn this into a Chrome plugin. Please list the file I will need. So it provided us with all the files we will need to create this plugin. Let's ask ChatGPT to provide the code for each file. Okay, now let's create our files. First, let's copy the code for the manifest.json. Head over to Visual Studio and let's create our file. Now let's paste the code and save it. So if we take a look at the code in the manifest.json file, we can see that it's making a couple of references to a couple of images here. We're only gonna use icon128.png and we're gonna delete the rest. But for now, let's just locate an icon image for this project and I'm just going to go to Google to select the random image. I'm going to do a Google search for icon 128 and I'm just going to select this rocket here. I'm going to save it into our project folder. I'm going to go back into our Visual Studio, make sure that our file is there and it is. And now I'm going to go back into the code here and delete all the other images we don't need and I'm going to save the file. Now let's create background.js. Let's copy the code, paste the code, save the file. Now let's copy the code for content.js. Let's create the file content.js. Now paste the code, save the file. Now let's create the file popup.html. Now let's go and copy the code, paste the code. save the file and finally let's copy the code for our popup.js let's create our popup.js and paste the code save the file now let's open up the chrome extension web page now click on load unpacked and select the project folder of your plugin and there goes our plugin with our image so now let's click on the extension icon on the top right here let's locate our plugin and let's click on the little pin and now we can go back into ChatGPT to see if our plugin is working. I am seeing the button here, so it looks like it's working. Let's try testing this plugin by opening a new chat window and ask ChatGPT to provide us with some test JavaScript code. Okay, so there's our button. And when we click on the button, we do get prompted to save and it's actually saving in the proper format, .js. I'm going to name this file and I'm just going to save it see if it works and it does work. Now let's ask ChatGPT for some CSS code and hopefully it provides us with some HTML code as well. Okay, so now when we click on the button, it's prompting us to save as .css, which is great. Now let's check out the HTML and that's working too. So now we have a working plugin that we can add to our arsenal that should speed up your coding process. And now you won't have to worry about refreshing the page and losing the injected code that we put in earlier. I hope the video was helpful. And if so, remember to like and subscribe. Till next time.